Hi everyone, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. We have in America close to six and a half million children diagnosed with so-called ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and about two-thirds of these kids are now being medicated. And uh, certainly there is a time and a place for medication, but I think it's really helpful for us from time to time to take a step back and look at the influence that certain lifestyle factors have on a child's ability to remain focused uh, on a task. Um, I'd like to take a look at a very interesting study that looks at the role of dietary fiber uh, in terms of a child's ability to remain focused. So let's take a look at a very interesting study. The study is called Dietary Fiber is Positively Associated with Cognitive Control Among Prepubertal Children. Uh, so this is a study that was published in the American, uh, the Journal of Nutrition, rather, November of 2014. And what the study looked at was a group of children, 65 of them, uh, between 7 and 9 years of age. They followed these kids for 9 months and they recorded uh, components of their diets. They had the kids uh, and their parents, I'm sure, uh, be involved in uh, reporting what these children were eating uh, you know, three times a week they would have to write down what they were eating. They were able from this uh, re record keeping to determine things like fiber consumption, omega-3 consumption, which we know are certainly very important in terms of how the brain works. And they also, uh, at the, towards the conclusion of the study, they administered something called a flanker test to these children. And what the flanker test does is it measures the ability of what is called attentional inhibition, uh, meaning how basically how well focused a child can remain on a task when there is an attempt during the test to distract that child. So uh, it is a subcomponent of what we call cognitive control. Can you remain focused on a task? The, the researchers were able to correlate dietary fiber with accuracy, in other words, ability to stay focused on a, ta on a task. Higher accuracy on the flanker test was correlated with higher uh, dietary fiber consumption. Now, why might there be this correlation between um, dietary fiber consumption and uh, cognitive function, in this case, attention? Well, what we know about dietary, uh, dietary fiber is, of course, it enhances the growth of good probiotic organisms and as such it reduces inflammation. And I kind of think of inflammation as the, uh, the static on the line when you're driving your car uh, and listening to the FM radio and there's lightning around. You know, you hear that static. It keeps kids from being able to focus. In addition, uh, at least in the laboratory uh, animal studies, we know that dietary fiber enhances the production of what is called BDNF. BDNF is basically a hormone-like substance that nurtures brain cells. It causes the brain to grow new brain cells and it leads to better functionality as well as even better connection uh, from one brain cell to the next through what we call neuroplasticity. So we're weighing then this idea of growth of new brain cells called neurogenesis on the one hand uh, against inflammation on the other side. So neurogenesis, enhancing BDNF being a good thing to help that child's brain work more effectively, and inflammation obviously working against the child, certainly working against us as adults as well. We don't want to tip the balance in favor of inflammation, rather we want to tip the balance in favor of neurogenesis. We can do that, uh, it looks like, by using things like dietary fiber. What did the authors conclude? They concluded that these results demonstrate that children's diet quality, specifically dietary fiber, is an important correlate of performance on a cognitive test requiring variable amounts of cognitive control. So a very uh, interesting study that relates uh, fiber consumption to this important metric of cognitive control. Well, I think you'll agree this is interesting information. And uh, certainly increasing a child's uh, fiber intake uh, isn't going to have any negative consequences and may very well uh, be just a significant help uh, in terms of allowing that child to remain focused to the extent that maybe he or she might not need medication or perhaps 
If that child is on medication, the dosage could be theoretically reduced. Uh, who knows? But, uh, you know, it's always worthwhile, I think, to look at all of these uh, other avenues as opposed to always thinking that we have to rely on hardcore uh, pharmaceuticals, especially as it relates to the risk upon the developing brain. Hope you enjoyed this information. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.